Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Star Lord, and today I'm making a short video to kind of question and kind of talk about why did Bethesda remove one of the best creatures from Fallout 4? Now, some of you guys are probably thinking, oh, the ghoul whale shit again? God, calm down, Star Lord. Well, actually, no, it's not. I mean, I'm pretty sad that they never put the ghoul whale into the game. But apart from that, the creature I'm talking about is the Quantum Deathclaw. Now, the Quantum Deathclaw was meant to appear in the Nuka World DLC, and I don't know if you guys have been following me for a long time, but a couple of months back when Nuka World actually released, I think it was like one minute after the public release, I uploaded the video showcasing all of the new creatures from that DLC. And everyone pretty much liked it, you know, it's a pretty decent video. Um, but then I looked at the comments only a couple of days ago, and then I saw that a couple of people were very pissed off with me for reasons I just didn't realize. So I clicked on it and I saw that they were actually calling me a liar about showcasing the Quantum Deathclaw. So I was very confused about this. I was like, well, wait, why is... Why, are they, why do they think that's fake? I mean, is it a secret quest in which you find the Quantum Deathclaw? Is the Quantum Deathclaw even in the game? Because I actually found it from the in-game files, you know? I spawned them using console commands. Um, I never put it there. It was already there in the game, but I just placed it in front of me. And so I kind of looked around a little bit, and then I saw that nobody has actually came across a Quantum Deathclaw. So that really kind of shocked me. If I'm honest, because if you're looking at the creature right now, I mean, look at it. It is absolutely beautiful. I mean, that blue glowing with that fucking black, it is just such a nice kind of combination of colors. And I don't know, for a second, if you actually stay far away from the Quantum Deathclaw, it, it looks very peaceful. You know, with that blue kind of light blue, um, it just looks really nice. And I was thinking, so why the hell would Bethesda remove that from the game? I mean, what's the whole... What's the dealio, you know? So then I asked a couple of my friends on Xbox and PC and they told me too that they've never actually seen the Quantum Deathclaw in the DLC. And I don't know, I guess I'm making this video to kind of ask you guys, have you seen a Quantum Deathclaw? I mean, you know, is there any kind of like secret kind of um, event in which happens? Like it just stumbles upon it or something like that, you know? I'm very curious to find out guys because if they actually taken it out of the DLC. I feel like maybe it's a lore problem because, you know, in the New Vegas, I believe, in New Vegas, they had Nuka Lurks, right? And they never had Quantum Death Claws back then. And I was thinking maybe they didn't include the Quantum Death Claw in this game because they probably thought, well, you know, the lore wouldn't go. Like, why is there Quantum Death Claws in the new game, but not in the old game, you know? So, I don't know, it kind of raised eyebrows for me, and I kind of wanted an answer, to be honest, because it is an amazing creature. It's probably one of the best variants of Deathclaw I've seen. I mean, I love the Chameleon Deathclaw, but damn, the Quantum Deathclaw is damn right impressive. Um, but anyway, guys, like I said, it is just kind of a short video to tell you guys that this creature is genuinely in the game, just has anybody found it yet? And that's pretty much it. That's all I want to ask, really, to be honest. Um, but anyway, guys, I hope that you had an awesome weekend, and I hope you continue to have an awesome week. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya!